Debbie Lachusa, the business stylist, and today's question comes to us from a spirituality coach. And if you're not a spirituality coach, don't tune out <laughs> because there's a lesson in here for you too. The question is, can I make my niche just spirituality or do I need to make it more precise, like spirituality for business or spirituality for relationships? It's a great question because very often I find that especially brand new coaches and consultants aren't really sure about how to niche. They're afraid to make their niche too narrow because they think it's going to limit the size of their business. And so they tend to go very broad. What happens if you go really broad? For example, just spirituality. That's a huge topic. Who exactly are you going to be helping and what are you going to be helping them do? It's going to be very difficult for clients to identify whether or not they're ideal for you or for you to identify if they're an ideal client. Let's say if you're doing a free consultation with somebody. It's also going to be really hard to put together a signature program or services to help them create some type of transformation or outcome because the sky's the limit. It could be so many different things. So I would suggest that you really pick a, a group of people, an ideal client that you are most really qualified to help. You bring into your business a unique set of experience, education, and really that is going to define a certain type of business. What type of person are you best able to help? Who do you most want to work with? My guess is, is that you may be predisposed to either really wanting to work with people to bring spirituality into their business and grow their business. That's going to be a very different business for you than someone who's helping people use it to work on relationships or something else very different businesses. So think about what you want to do too. And you kind of have to take all of these pieces and put them together and then select a niche that really is a little bit smaller and represents that. And really the only thing to take into consideration is to make sure it's broad enough or large enough, I should say, not broad enough, that there's enough people out there within that group that want that type of outcome. And as long as there are, I mean, let's face it, if you can only work with a handful of people every single month, you don't need millions and millions of people in your niche. You know, if you're launching an empire and you want to reach millions, okay, maybe that's a different story. But think about the type of person you want to work with and do try to pick a niche that really represents that person. It's going to make it easier to market. You're going to know where to find them. It's going to be easier to come up with a program that's going to deliver them the transformation that they want. And it's going to be easier for you to figure out where they are and what to say to them because otherwise it's going to be a very generic message. This person also said that they had been advised by someone else to start really broad and let the niche find them. I suppose that is one way to go, but my concern, and I've seen it happen with many, many clients who come to me who've been in business for a few months to a few years and they have a very broad niche. And the reason they're coming to me is because they don't have any clients. They're not attracting anyone because their marketing is not speaking to anyone specifically enough to be effective. So the danger with going really broad and letting it find you is that you may fall flat on your face. As I always say, test it if you want. Just be careful that if it doesn't work, it may not be because your message is wrong. It may be just because your message is too broad. So I hope you found this helpful. Again, whether you're a spirituality coach or any other type of coach or consultant, the same advice applies. If you have a question you would like answered, please send it to me at debbie at thebizstylist.com and maybe the next answer I give will be yours. Take care.